uh, with Colgate, I was going to ask you what kind of series do you kind of expect from these guys? I uh, think their team has got a strong goalie, so I'm sure it could be tough for both sides to score at least one maybe. I just think Donnie Hub prepared. You know, I looked at him, I watched him last weekend, they were prepared in all facets of the game against RPI. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, they do. They don't give chances up very readily. They're uh, they're a good defensive team, and they uh, they 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 play good team defense as well as having obviously the uh, goaltender that can make uh, make fantastic saves and gives them an opportunity to, to win every game. Um, you know, I think their special teams are clicking. I think they 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 got some things going in their way right now. That's become confidence with winning uh, winning a bunch of games towards the end of the season. So my expectations looking at coming through is it's a it's a tough it's a tough draw and it's a, it's a team that's gonna gonna come in here. They've had success as building in the past, so I'm sure they're coming through the door with some confidence and give us give everything we've got. What's it like to kind of be, be home for this for the first time in a while? Like, I'm sure you enjoying that aspect. Mike, I think the, well, what the guys, the realization of coming out of the weekend was just the fact there's a mental break that we didn't have to focus and dial it in like on Friday and Saturday. It was a weekend off. And oh, yeah. Just a mental break, right? We, we worked hard. We played hard. Uh, practiced hard, excuse me, over the over the course of last week and made sure we didn't lose a step there. But just a mental, no mental drain coming out of the weekend and getting guys healthy and making sure we're, uh, we're mentally prepared here for this weekend to be sharp. Just going to ask you first before I ask you about yourself, just about this weekend series with, with uh, Colgate. What are you looking forward to in that matchup? Uh, yeah, I think it matches up really well for us with the teams that uh, you know we could have played. Um, I think that'll be really good because it's going to be a really good uh, defensive weekend. You know, mm -hmm. they play, they play really physical. They play really strong in their own end. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, the times that we've had this year against them, we've kind of exploited them in that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to uh, to a good defensive battle there. And they've, they've had a strong goalie too. Is that really yeah. exciting when you're in the making kind of you're back against the more goalie guys that you're kind of still like Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's always fun. It's good competition. Uh, mm. You know, at the end of the day, you always want to be the guy on top. Uh, but he's had a really good year too. And, uh, you know, it should be it should be a fun weekend playing against him. I was going to ask you a little bit just about you, you know, the future of you, about you. Uh, when you were picking schools, you know, what was it about Clarkson that you liked? I was wondering how you did wind up with Minnesota and then Peter and Jimmy and Phil and these kind of places. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I I actually knew Houch, our yeah. assistant coach Josh Houch, um, before I came here, yeah. or uh, before I was visiting. I knew him before that, uh, yeah. and I, I just knew that if a guy like that was here, um, that there had to be something special about this place. And when I came out here, I loved the the scenery, the school, everything about it. Just worked yeah. for me. And coming from a bigger area of metropolitan, what's it been like when I live in a smaller town for the last couple of years? Uh, it's not too bad. You know, like you said, the past couple of years I've lived in the small junior hockey towns, and it makes it a lot of fun because, you know, when you go around town, you know people, you know the fans. Fans will come up to you and, you know, say, aren't you the goalie or whatever, and, and it makes it kind of fun. In a bigger area, um, school, you might not get that because, uh, you know, they have pro teams or people just don't follow along. And I asked you this before too, but I was just curious. Uh, you know, winning the championship that you guys won in juniors, how much confidence that can you come into this level? It was a different level of play that you, you could do what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah, it, it gives me a ton of confidence, uh, especially when playoffs come around, because mm -hmm. um, you know, it just it just proves to myself that I'm able to bring my level of play up to a different level. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when playoffs roll around, uh, and it, it just. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. You know, trying to beat the other team out there. But it's mm -hmm. nice knowing that in the back, that you know, in the back of my head, that uh, I'll be able to raise my level of play. What's been the biggest difference as a goalie, really like at this level compared to juniors? Like when you first got here, were there things that jumped out at you right away? That um, or, you know? I think you know, you just got to take care of yourself so much better mm -hmm. um, on and off the ice. Uh, in juniors, you have a lot of extra time to just lay around and not do a whole lot, especially when you're not in school. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, being in college, you have that extra mental strain with, with classes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, being able to take care of yourself uh, away from the rink is a huge thing. I was wondering too about just the position. Like, what are some areas where you still feel like you want to get better as a goalie? Is there any you know, areas of the game you're still kind of working on? That you can... Yeah, um, for sure. I thought at the beginning of the year I was doing a really good job of uh, – of competing really hard and, and doing stuff like that and as the season goes on you know it can be kind of tough sometimes to to keep that going so i think for for the end of the season trying to find that compete level again um and then you know on top of that just some fundamental stuff i think i've struggled a little bit this year with uh with traffic um but you know i've gotten a lot better with the help of my goalie coach you know and he, he's helped me a ton with working on that stuff i think i've gotten a lot better but you know there's always stuff that you can work on and improve and get better on but i think that that's uh, one area for sure that was
was one of the areas I was going to ask about the school coach, Mr. Reco. How has he helped both of you and Shea do what you guys have done in your respective teams this year? Yeah, he's been awesome. Um, you know, we have a really strong connection away from the ice uh, mm-hmm. sheet, too, and that, and that helps a ton. But, you know, he's just been really good, like, good mentor. Um, not only does he help with the on ice stuff, um, which a lot of goalie coaches can do, but what makes some guys special is their connection away from the rink and, you know, what they can provide for you for, you know, life experience and, um, you know, everything that you do away from the rink. I think Merce has been awesome with being able to let the, the stress of the game off me a little bit. And, uh, yeah. I guess the last thing was yes, but obviously I know there's still a ways to go. But when you, whenever hockey does wind up for you, uh, what do you want to do for a career? Like, are you studying to do any kind of job after the hockey? Um, you? you know, I, I love to – I'm in finance. I'm a finance mm-hmm. major. I think it would be way too hard to, to get away truly from the game of hockey. Oh, yeah. So I'd love to be able to do something for, you know, maybe some – some professional or some semi-professional team um, in the way of finance or, you know, get into, get into hockey somehow that way. I guess first with Jake, I was just going to ask you, what have you noticed about how he's changed maybe from a year ago to this year as a goalie? His, his technique has definitely um, got a lot smoother. Mm-hmm. He's transitioning in and out of movements. Uh, he's become a smarter goalie. Mm-hmm. He's, uh, he works on his game day in, day out. You can see it in all different areas, the intelligence, the technique, reading plays, mm-hmm. being where he needs to be, knowing what he needs to do before the puck actually gets in that area. Mm-hmm. I was wondering with him too, like uh, physically, what does he do well as a goalie? Like what physical things that you maybe can't coach a person that he's so boring with? Like what does he have in that regard? You know? He, he's a athletic, he's mm-hmm. flexible, uh, he's very powerful goalie, he has great edge control, mm-hmm. um, physically his, his hands, his vision is, is outstanding, mm-hmm. he, uh, he has great vision on pucks, whether it be through traffic or whether it just be on, on the release, uh, he can mm-hmm. see pucks that others can't for sure. In the size, how does that help him be like the built the way he is too for that position? His size? Yeah, yeah he has yeah. long limbs. He has yeah. a long reach with his arms. His arms and legs are very long, so his reach is yeah. is definitely very long. He can, he, can, uh, he can get those arms off his body and catch and block yeah. pucks that uh, that maybe some others can't because of those those long limbs. Yeah. The size definitely goes a long way for him. You had mentioned some of the mental parts of it too. I was just curious, like, you know, a typical week, like, do you guys go over people in the other teams from past games, you know, like tendencies or things like that, or is he just more react on, react on instinct or, like, well, he can have a sense maybe what a guy might do based on the past. Or... He he can do both. Yeah. He's he's really good at, at reading plays. But we try to look at at how some teams how they enter the zone, how their power play is, and oh, yeah. try to get them some clips or some pictures so that when we enter a weekend, he's familiar with how that team plays or mm-hmm. kind of what kind of looks that uh, we expect them to get on us. So that way, you know, he's prepared for that, whether it be mm-hmm. technically or tactically or just he feels more comfortable that he's right. kind of been there on the ice so he can he can see those plays develop as they or even before they d- d- develop. Yeah, I've seen obviously you've both him and Shay, you know, hanging around here talking to you in the hallways and stuff. Uh, how coachable would you say he is? You look like he's a you guys have a pretty good relationship, you know, like he doesn't he's he's very laid back. He's yeah. he'd be a hard guy not to get along with. Um, yeah. great kid, really nice. You can see that with his teammates, with his coaches, with anyone around the ring. Both of them, both him and Shea, are just uh, you know. I, I kind of look at them as people first, mm-hmm. and and with that, then uh, coachable is, is a word I would I would de- definitely describe him as. And one thing I've noticed is he doesn't seem like he gets stressed. Like I've seen goalies in the past here that you know you know when you, when you don't want to talk to them or even say hi to them because they look like they're you know. But he always looks like he's the same guy whether there's a game coming up in ten minutes or ten days or you know like if you know said about him too that he's. Seems kind of relaxed for his position. When he's when he's in his space yeah. and, and his zone, he uh, he's not stressed. You know? yeah. I think it'd be hard pressed to find a goalie or coach that doesn't get stressed. Oh, yeah. At some point, we just do a really good job to show it. But oh, yeah. when he's uh, when he's on his game and playing at his best, and and you know he's in his little Jake zone, then yeah, he's yeah. Uh, he's very relaxed. He's very easygoing. I guess the last thing I was to ask you was just uh, you know everybody has room to grow. What are some areas where you still think he can get even better? Than, you know, uh, still reading plays, mm-hmm. he's still uh, he's really good at, at doing it. But uh, you know, you get against some of the better players in the league, and they can still give you looks that uh, yeah. that can deceive you. Um, technique wise, you know, just just polishing up, continuing to polish up that stance, weight balance, and transitions in and out of movements, in and out of positions within the crease. But uh, I have no doubt it's only being his second year here that uh, he'll be he'll be polishing them up over the summer with his goalie coach and oh, yeah. come back even stronger next year. Yeah,